Hey Flawless Gang Gang, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. My name is Sele Kalu. If you're a sub returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you quickly how to dissolve your glycolic acid powder. Um, we all know that the liquid is more prominent, it's more used, it's the most used. But today I'm going to be showing you how to dissolve the powder form of the, your glycolic acid. There's not a lot of videos out there showing you how to do it. So today I decided to show you how you can dissolve your glycolic powder to get them into the usage percentage rate that you want. Now in this video, I'm going to be doing a 20% concentration. So I'm going to measure out 100 grams of my glycolic acid powder and then dissolve that with water now the quantity of water that you would use to dissolve your powder will determine what your percentage or your concentration level would be in today's video i'm doing a 20 percent concentration now i'm doing a 20 percent concentration because i'm using this on my body on my face on a daily basis so if you want to use this as a peel or as an aggressive exfoliate exfoliant you can go ahead to use up to 50 70 percent but for this video i'm doing 20 percent because i'm using it for a daily use now on for our water i'm going to be measuring out my water phase which is the 450 grams of water that's what i'm going to be using now you want to make sure that you're using distilled water i always say this you want to make sure you're using distilled water or hydrosol i'm going to leave a video in the i'm going to leave a link here so you can watch how you can make your own distilled water and your own hydrosols so in this video i'm using my distilled water to measure or to dissolve my glycolic acid powder i'm just making sure that my measurements are accurate so i don't um, end up wasting my time and all my ingredients that i'm using here so i'm just making sure that my measurements are all in order I think I had more than 450 there so I'm just going to take that out and make sure everything I'm, I'm not skipping this part or cutting it off because I really want you guys to see how much time or how much um, concentration it takes to do these things it's not something you just rush into you have to have an idea of what you are doing so here my measurement is complete and is correct I'm going to go ahead to pour in my um, glycolic acid powder now in this video i'm using warm water to dissolve my glycolic acid it is very very essential that you use warm water not even warm water at least it should be at least up to 80 80 um, degrees celsius um, that's what i'm using to dissolve it here i'm i've poured my powder inside my water and i'm going to let it sit down and i'm going to let it sit down i'm going to let it sit so it can dissolve on its own now i want to make something clear if you are going to be using this on a daily basis please i said it earlier do not go anything above 20 percent in fact it is best to even do 15 percent but for the sake of what i want to use this for it is safe to use 20% glycolic acid on a daily basis but anything above 20% please do not use it on a daily basis because it will end up irritating your skin and causing more harm than good if you want to know what glycolic acid um, does for your skin i've said a few of them it's good for acne it's good for um, exfoliation deep exfoliation it also helps with um, reduction of fine lines and a whole lot of other things if you want to know better you can join our formulation training that is coming up on the 10th of um, august you can use the link in the description bar to join our training that is coming up and you know learn more about these things and more now 
the water is warm but you can see that the you would see that the the glycolic acid tends to get very cold like freezing cold so it blends and melts seamless seamlessly without any issues um, in the water here you can see that our powder has completely dissolved everything has dissolved there's no lump everything has dissolved into our water and it didn't take time at all you just pour the glycolic acid into your water and you stir it and then it dissolves completely now if you're using anything more than 20 percent you want to use your um propylene glycol or your um glycerin to dissolve this you don't want to use water anything above 20 percent please use glycolic um propylene glycol to dissolve it here our acid powder has dissolved completely as you can see there's no powder in the cup everything has dissolved completely i'm going to go ahead and pour this into um, my storage container that i'm going to be using to store it you want to make sure that your storage container is properly sanitized there's no um, bacteria or anything that can form in it make sure it's properly sanitized and washed so here i'm just going to pour it pour that into the bottle and then voila it's very simple very very simple um very very simple maybe i'll do a video on how to dissolve other powders like lactic powder um, salicylic powder and other powders for you guys so you can see so yeah that's our last glycolic acid powder thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my